Okay. What do you need for a thunderstorm to happen? Um, you need a uh, moisture, obviously. You need a uh, an upstable or an unstable lapse rate, and um unstable air or up updrafts and downdrafts. Okay, so it's an unstable. So you need a lifting force. I think is the missing part. So I need moisture, unstable air, and a lifting force. So we could think a uh, thermal convective activity could be a good lifting force to cause a thunderstorm. So mountains, right? So air getting pushed up a mountain into a unstable atmosphere where it can then move up and down, up and down, up and down. If you've ever seen on this side, on the, the east side of the Rocky Mountains as the wind kind of blows across, that's where a lot of those thunderstorms happen is that oreographic lifting force. I, I had no idea that a mountain could contribute to a thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah. Well, because if we need something to push air up, right? That's the easiest way to really think of it. When we think like Arizona, that's a lot, Arizona, the deserts, that's a lot of uneven heating of the sur Earth's surface, right? Because we have buildings, sand dunes, mountains, hills. So we end up with patches that are getting more sun than others, causing that little pop-ups of thunderstorms all around. That's why you, yep. when you go out west to the, all of those deserts, you end up with these little isolated thunderstorms all over the place. Then when you go to like the plains, you end up with these long lines associated with the Rocky Mountain. We have is frontal movement. So when we have a front that's pushing up. When you have a front that's pushing a warm air aloft, then yeah, that's gonna eventually result in pretty bad weather and a thunderstorm potentially. Right. So what are some lifting forces that we could talk about when it comes to, you know, the required lifting forces to generate a thunderstorm? We could have oreographic lifting associated with like a mountain. <clears throat> we could have mm -hmm. uneven heating of the earth's surface associated with like deserts and yeah, I guess deserts. Hot surfaces. Yeah. <laughs> or we could have frontal movement. 